This is Robert Kraft and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live and we're here at the LD Micro Invitational 2017 in Bel Air, California. With me right now is Phil Hartstein from Finjan, publicly traded company with the symbol FNJN. Phil, welcome back to SNN Live. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure to have you on. So, for our audience, before we get into an update, let's do an overview of the company and go from there. Uh, Finjan, public company, NASDAQ listed, FNJN is the ticker. Cybersecurity is the theme. Uh, we have celebrated our 20th year, not as a public company, but as a technology company. Four reporting segments. The first is uh, we license uh, and enforce our landmark intellectual property portfolio, so that's the largest segment. We have a portion of our business that is involved in a venture investment. Uh, it's uh, made 11 portfolio investments, had two early exits, which we uh, originally invested in 2013. And then we, in 2015, started two new businesses. Uh, the first is an advisory services business, uh, and the second is a mobile security business where we're taking our patented technologies and really transferring those into a consumer tangible format so you can use them on your mobile phone. So it's been a while since we had you on the program. You know, for our audience, let's get an update as to what's been happening at FinGen. That's really a great question. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, we've been at this now, uh, and I've been with the company a little over four years. And really, 2016 represented, I think, a, a watershed year for us. It was the first year where, as a public company, we were profitable. Uh, so we did about $18 million in revenue to close the year in 2016. And in 2017, we had a really strong out-of-the-gate quarter. So we did three deals in the first quarter and uh, booked about $25 million uh, in revenues for Q1. And since then, we've done two things where we've redeemed and retired some preferred share equity that we raised uh, 10 months ago. Uh, and we've also done another $5 million licensing deal, again, in our primary line of the business uh, in the second quarter to start as well. So we're really starting to see some nice acceleration into our revenues. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about some of the, the releases that I've seen. You know, it seems like uh, almost every other month there's a, a new patent win, you know, that you guys did or on a, a patent infringement case, you know. So tell me about some of that, you know, some of the on the enforcement and licensing side and how you go about, you know, uh, just getting those wins. Yeah, so intellectual property, I think, is often misunderstood. Um, you know, Finjan built real technology. We innovated what the industry is using today. One of the things that we say is you'd be hard pressed today to find a modern security architecture that doesn't use Finjan's patented technologies. What happens though is that it's not often an option for a company like Finjan to scale to meet the needs of the industry. And, and what arises from that is an opportunity to license your intellectual property into that market. So Finjan has a, you know, now more than a decade of history in doing this. We've done more than a dozen licensing deals. Uh, we've been through, unfortunately, although we would prefer licensing, we've been through uh, numerous district court litigations. Uh, in the past, you know, 24 months even, we've won two district court cases. We've settled two more out of court. We've done another half a dozen licenses in that time period. So <clears throat> what, what we are communicating to the market is that what we have invented and what we have patented has real value, has real meaning. There's been another, I think, sort of interesting twist on this because anybody who we approach to take a license uh, has a couple of defenses. First, we don't use your patents, and second, your patents really aren't valid to begin with. So um, one of the other really notable, if not outstanding, things that Finjan has achieved in the last, you know, call it 18 to 24 months is that we've had an unprecedented run at defending our patents. So we've had more than 70 administrative challenges against our patents in that time frame. And to date, I think, um, in all of those challenges, we've lost one independent claim. No patents, one independent claim in all of our patents. So it's really hard at this point for prospective licensees to say that Finjan didn't invent the technology and that our patents aren't valid. And we think that's partly um, the root cause for why our licensing uh, negotiations are accelerating and why we're seeing more early settlements in cases. So let's talk about the, the other side of the business on, on the, the two platforms that you started in 2015. Tell me about their progress, where are they currently at? So the first is uh, an advisory services business we call Cyber Risk. Uh, we hired a couple of gentlemen out of Cisco's Cybersecurity Center of Excellence to run that business for us. Uh, today it's a break-even business. It's focused mainly at the intersection between what goes on in a server room, so you do have to have the technical knowledge to be able to interact with that. But it's intended to be sort of the insight and the knowledge gap that 
often doesn't make it from the server room to the boardroom, right? So think about it as an advisory business that is really intended to help on a governance level. The other one is what we call Fingen Mobile, and that is a, a company that is being built to be a platform of technologies available to a consumer to have really enterprise class security um, in the palm of your hand. And that is whether you're using an iPad or an Android device or even your iPhone on an Apple device. And, and <clears throat> what we've done is we've really organically built a business that allows us to uh, integrate some of the features that we patented, put those on a mobile phone. We've actually been able to um, demonstrate to, gosh, more than 165,000 users to date that there's real value in that. We've accepted a lot of feedback. We're developing new features in. So uh, just, I think, in the next week or so, we're going to be launching uh, something that we call tracker and ad blocking that'll now be available in the Fingen uh, Vital Security browser. Uh, and then we've also recently signed a partnership with a company called Vera. And for a lot of reasons, there's really no privacy in your mobile browsing today, and there's been some policy shifts in the United States in the last six weeks that some have been watching. So we're going to be working with Avira to embed a VPN into the browser. I, I can't guarantee you anonymity, but, but certainly we can bring back privacy to anything that, you know, the logins that you do or the websites you visit or the, even the locations from which you actually use your phone to connect in and interact with the Internet. So you said something I actually want to hit on a little bit more, you know, with, with the new administration and, uh, you know, what has been their take on cybersecurity and how has it affected your business, so to speak? Wow, cybersecurity is such a complex theme. Um, you know, I think instead of suggesting one administrative may, administration may be ahead, whereas another one may have been behind, the bigger issue is that the consumer demand isn't there. And the consumers aren't demanding it because they don't know how to ask for the technologies to solve the need. Companies are doing their best to sell products that close back doors and, and vulnerabilities. But the bad guys are always going to be one step ahead. So, you know, what we find is that it's really a never-ending, you know, tug of war, you know, a cat and mouse kind of chase. And really that's where Fingen's technology comes into play because you know, we're not the Encyclopedia Britannica where you found a virus and you put it in a book and you put it on a shelf and that protects you forever. Um, and we're not working on the hardware side. We're in that intermediary layer where as soon as a consumer or a user requests content or asks for a file, that's when Fingen's technology goes to work. And it says, let's look at the behavior of what I just requested. Is it what I requested? Is it going to do what I want it to do or expect it to do? And if not, let's stop that. And that is the technology that I think you see today being deployed most, administration or otherwise, uh, that is having the most impact for consumers, for enterprises, for basically anybody that does business or relies on the internet for connections. So from what you can tell me, what are some of the company's near-term milestones that you're looking to achieve? You know, right now, by far and away, our licensing and enforcement business is the largest reporting segment. It probably accounts for 90 plus percent of our revenues. We don't see that diminishing anytime soon. Um, but we have been working very diligently to build the investment fundamentals to be an equivalent segment of our business. And whether that comes through Fingen Mobile as it exists today, or whether, whether it comes through uh, inorganic acquisitions, uh, you know, we're looking at all of those options, but we are really, and management is really focused on building those investable fundamentals because that licensing business and, and what we've been able to demonstrate and the credibility that we have in that industry, you could bolt those revenues on to anybody's business and they would be very meaningful and, and very material. So that's our focus now is, you know, what is the Fingen of the future? It will always have a core in licensing, but what as a technology business will our foundation be in the future? And where can our audience go and find more information about the company? Well, you can always find us on the web, uh, Fingen.com, F-I-N-J-A-N. Uh, and we are always out on the road. We're happy to meet with uh, shareholders and prospective investors. So reach out to the company. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live. And we're here at the LD Micro Invitational 2017 in Bel Air, California. With me again is Phil Hartstein from FinGen, publicly traded company with the symbol FNJN. Phil, always a pleasure. Thanks again. Always appreciate it.